Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Today we're going to look at this storage project. Not pronounced storage, but it's called storage. And the way you can use your access storage on computers, servers, or infrastructure to earn crypto. We're going to come back to the website in a second. Let's jump over here to CoinMarketCap, do a quick review. Their market cap is 180 million, ranked 134. So there's a token price of 45 cents. Their all time token high was back in April of 21. Like other projects that peaked around that time, $3.08. You can purchase this token at leading exchanges, including swapping on Uniswap. So let's get over here to their doc section. So these guys started the idea back in 2014. Their idea launched in 2018, and storage is an open source. Enterprise grade, globally distributed cloud object storage platform. If you're not familiar with object storage, it's basically a type of data storage that manages data as objects, as opposed to other storage architectures like file systems, which manages data as a file hierarchy, similar to what you're used to in Windows, and block storage, which manages data as blocks. These guys compete with Amazon S3, so unlike traditional storage solutions, the data store is in huge data centers. Storage runs on a trustless, globally distributed network, hence the decentralization part of this project, and uses their excess storage capacities. If we go over here to this link, chainsnap.io, they partnered with Anchor. I've also reviewed Anchor. Go check that out if you have a chance to provide node snapshots. And what these are, if you've ever set up a node to be able to validate transactions on a particular blockchain and you need to download the blockchain data, you got to download it, right? Each transaction with snapshots, they're basically giving you the transaction history of a particular blockchain in one file. So you're able to upload that quickly and get these nodes online faster. And a big part of the future and current state of the crypto is decentralized physical infrastructure. This D-PIN was coined by Masari, which is a crypto research firm. Basically, these guys are very important to the industry. They provide the backbone. And if we scroll down, you can read a little bit more about D-PIN. But basically, here's the four categories. Cloud and storage networks, which we're speaking to about today, a file storage, database, and va various other networks, including wireless, sensor, right, interconnected devices, energy networks, aggregating distributed energy sources. So if you want to do a little bit more research, I'll leave the link to this article in the description. I also reviewed the Clayton project in my last two videos these guys are set up as the metaverse blockchain so they're providing the software development kits and everything else a developer needs to build within the metaverse so there's it's just another example of infrastructure that is building in web3 so go check those videos out so if we head over to their website take a look at their company this is a traditional business that is located in Atlanta, Georgia. You can come over here and do a little bit more research. There's their leadership team. You can get to know them if you like and learn a little bit more about the storage project. And they also have a partner program. So if you're an IT services provider or an infrastructure provider and you want to get involved and resell these storage services, you could sign up as a partner and make commission or margin off of reselling. So there's no staking in this project. You can host a node by sharing your extra disk space to start earning. Anybody with a few extra terabytes can install their connector to make passive income. So if you want, you can start for free here. They'll give you 25 gigs of storage for no cost. And then you can move up and go into the pro and enterprise. And if you want, this is how you do it. You're basically going to have to have the physical infrastructure with access storage, right? You're going to need at least a few terabytes. You need to confirm you're not a robot, enter your email address to get your auth token. You're going to generate your node identity, configure port forwarding. So if you're not familiar with this, this might not be a project for you. Basically, if you have a firewall or advanced router, you can go into the admin console and configure port forwarding. 
And you would need to set up the interface for download for Windows. And if you want to read more about this, you can come over here and everything's in there, docs.storj.io, so storage.io. All right, so if we come over here to Twitter, these guys have been around for a while, 120,000 followers. Uh, honestly, they've, they've look at this. They integrate with Adobe Premiere Pro. It looks like they are celebrating year-over-year -year revenue growth there. And obviously, there's lots of different use cases uh, for this particular project. So go check that out. All right, so let's head over to their incentive model. I'm going to share this link in the description as well. So basically... You have access storage, right? Terabytes of access storage. So let's go through an example here. So if you were to share, let's say, four terabytes worth of data on the network, right? And two terabytes of that four terabytes are being utilized by the network for the entire month. So you would earn $3 in storage tokens. So you would be paid on the Ethereum network through your MetaMask, or you can set up on a layer two ZK sync to receive those payments for less gas fees. They'll also pay you for egress bandwidth. So when customers' applications download data from your storage node, you will get paid. It looks like it's $20 per terabyte. And they also have this other incentive for egress bandwidth when satellites download pieces of files from storage nodes as a part of their repair process they get ten dollars per terabyte so there are some incentives here all right so that's it for the storage project hopefully this information was informative you learned something if you have any suggestions on other projects be happy to review i do have a few more that i'm going to research and release over the next couple weeks leave a comment if you got involved in this project and want to share any decent information. Until next time, be safe with investing. Later.